Jello and welcome back to the new Green Whistle Show. Today we have veterans of the show. They have returned, that's right, and it's not the Flash Velvet this time. It is Dawn Street, the Italian Stallions. So let's do it. Their song is Mortifier. Let's go. It's the new Green Whistle Show. I was actually somewhat mortified by the song. I suppose that was kind of the idea of being mortified. It is seriously twisted. Like It's got that nine inch nails kind of like <laughs> feeling in it. And that's pretty damn great, I have to say. There's a lot of really cool ideas in this song. Really cool ideas. But at the same time, that is this song's pitfall. Too many ideas in a song. They start fighting it out. They start like, come on, no, it's my song. No, it's my song. No, it's my song. No, it's my song. It's not any of your songs in the end. And that's kind of the problem. You need to stick to the good parts. Yeah, there was a seriously, seriously good part in the middle, which I'm going to play for you guys right now. Drink it turn, um, wish we could turn! Yeah, this part, seriously, it's, it's kicking my ass when I hear it. But, unfortunately, that is not the same for the rest of the song. So, what I'd like to see from your next record, guys, because I know you got the game. Your last record was amazing. That is linked in the description, by the way. But, what I would like to see is just focus on two main themes, right? The theme for your chorus, the theme for your verse, if you want to call it that. It doesn't even have to be that way described. You know, we all know that songwriting is completely objective to how you want it to come out. You can make a chorus sound like a verse, and you can make a verse sound like a chorus. It does not matter at all. But give yourself a strong A, B. So there's something that I'm always enjoying listening to, and there's something I'm always looking forward to hearing again. And then you hit them with a bridge. Right? Like that. Bridge! And they're like, whoa! Because that's what your bridge did for me. It really hit me. It came out of nowhere, and it was fantastic. But, again, the rest of it, it just wasn't cohesive enough. But, I hold you guys to a very high standard, I know you guys, and I know that you got what it takes. So give it to me, give it to me in the next record, but till then, follow the guys on social media right up there, subscribe to this channel, because you know it's happening over here, like and dislike, whatever you want to do, leave those comments down below, and the boy and girls, yeah that's right, it's a female heavy band, uh, will be walking away with 4 out of 5 whistles today, they have absolutely smashed it. I'm really, really excited to see what is going to be happening next with these guys. But it's the only reason that I give them such a hard time because I know, I know they've got it and they just need to find it. So dig into those Muse vibes, dig into those placebo vibes, and I'll see you at the next release. Till then, have a great day.